Hello, comrades. It's Premier River, and I am back again at the most marvelous city of Nueve Rivergrad. And I have used my superhuman powers of premiership to pause time for half a second here. I, I was playing and just kind of going along. I, I think I probably played for a half hour, just let things progress. Nothing, nothing major, just sort of setting things like this cistern to heading to like the gas station over here, right? So we have fuel coming into this one. There's nobody there right now, but our farms are just about to go. But what I wanted to talk about is I had a thought and I probably didn't really need to pause time that long. I probably could have timed it all out, but this guy here is heading over there. And I think what's happening is like I've always said, oh, you can't schedule the route until they're in the depot. But I don't necessarily think that's the problem. I think, and, I, and then I crashed the game. So I'm not sure if it's not going to crash again when I do this. But I'm going to come over here and I want this guy to go from this place here, pick up fuel, and come over to this gas station. This gas station. And I'm not even going to finish setting it up. We'll just leave it just like that, right? But I think what's happening, it's not that you can't send them there first, but he's out of fuel. And so what's going to happen is when he gets into here, because I haven't started him yet, right? He's not even there. I can't start him until he gets in there. Uh, he's going to say, oh, I need fuel. And then they're going to write a, like a, a job for them or they're going to put in here, go get fuel, right? So if you look at the, well, the, these construction offices aren't doing anything. I think we're all done here. I think we're ready other than getting trains. But if we were to look at a construction office, just I'm sure you guys have probably noticed this before, but oops, it's a vehicle's depot. Uh, you don't have, well, you have construction. Yeah, so we need to find a vehicle that's not in here going someplace. Probably could find it easiest by heading over here now i haven't really yeah where is a construction looking vehicle heading this way of course we'll never find one probably this bus so the point is this bus gets like instructions from the construction office and i think that's what's about to happen here let's let's zoom in yeah he's just about there now I don't think it's a huge revelation here, but it's something to keep in mind. If you know the guy's not going to run out of fuel before he gets to his assigned road depot. And just so you know, this guy was sent directly out of the factory. I'm, I'm making a few more cisterns at this moment. And I'm just kind of curious to see and kind of confirm this. If the game didn't crash, I, I probably would have just told you about it. But since I had to go back in time anyway... There we go. Now this time if we crash, we got a little bit quicker game save. Let's see, does it mess it up when he goes to get fuel? Yep, see that? So I think that's the problem. Not not a huge problem, but certainly a bit frustrating if you're trying to, you know, get these guys going out of the factories. And So it's all the more reason to have maybe, you know, a gas station and a, and a depot right close to your factory. I want to wait a second here to assign him once he gets fuel. Well, let's let's head over here. So what else can we talk about while we wait on this guy? Uh, we're still building this. I, now, now my problem is going to be whenever you crash, the worst thing about it to me is that you forget what... You forget, yeah, see, I had assigned this guy maybe to help out with this because it's taken a long time. And then uh, what else did I do? Really not much. I mean, I, I really want to do this stuff with you guys. There we go. So we're, we're back in there now. So I can come here. And then here. And then I think we're all good to go. All right. I'm just going to have him wait at both places. I don't mind that he causes a traffic jam if we have no fuel. It's a little bit more likely for me to notice it. Now I'm a little bit concerned, not overly. How are we doing... This I think is Batuman. Wow, we got <laughs> we got a lot of fuel over here. Yeah, you really don't need these two tanks like I have set up here. This was a little bit overkill. You certainly won't run out of fuel anytime soon there. So if you want to be super duper cautious, right? Like I, I have a lot of fuel sitting at these places. 
Okay, but you can see I'm, I'm a little worried because we we're setting these up. So what we're kind of waiting on now is these box cars to get the corn out of there. And then I need to make another train because we only have this one train and it's... Oh, you know what? I have enough box cars. Uh, yeah, well, let's send this guy on his... This guy's route is just to go up there and pick them up. And I don't want to... I always want to have that extra train in there so we have some flexibility. Yeah, so I think what I'll do, I think six is going to be more than enough. And having an extra boxcar isn't going to break my heart. And I think we may build some more depots potentially to do this thing. And I'm not 100% sure of the issues that I'm causing myself. But yeah, let's wait until this boxcar gets done. Then we'll have another full, we'll have an even number. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any difference. All right, we got seven right now, but then we got to start making a train. All right, so we can close this, and yeah, we'll, we'll zip back up here in a minute. Now, this one is still making trolleys, and I was hoping to put a couple extra in here, but this is taking forever to build, too. So I did, I realized I forgot to set this guy to help out, because why not? Now, does he have, I mean, he's a bit low on supplies, and you have to watch out for this. If this guy's low on supplies, for whatever reason... It could slow this project down, even though this guy's got a ton of supplies, right? Because if the tray, if the truck is waiting in here or associated with this, you know, you could have problems. But uh, we are building some of these, and as you can see, this is what I'd like to do and have like extra storage for these as we need them. And another thing kind of dawned on me: if you don't want to overproduce vehicles. I would recommend that you let it fill up and then just take out, like if, you, if you're not really interested in, you know, this has been our vehicle production, you know, for, for a while where we've been making trucks for around the map. But like, there's only so many cisterns I would make until this fills up. Now that might not always work out for you, but you could always fill it with like passenger cars and then take those passenger cars out and sell them as you wanted to make other vehicles. But at this point, we're making these covered halls and we're making uh, cisterns just so we have enough. So we'll probably take, yeah, we're going to end up overproducing cisterns, I think, especially if I take these out of here, right? So what I want to do is, I think cisterns are the kind of thing I use enough that we're going to give them their own yard, right? Now, one of the things you could do is hover over and just check that the other ones are full. All right, does that look nice? Now this guy should be getting fuel. Yep. And then I set another truck to this one should be getting fuel now. Yep, good. So I'm thinking we might make some more yards. This could be an awful lot of vehicles. Let's see how it pans out. But so in here we have dumpers, covered halls, open halls, and now we'll have cisterns. And we don't have to do a full thing of each one. And I was looking over here, you know, we have these cement trucks really don't know if we shouldn't just sell those we got some extra open halls and we've got a bunch more dumpers in here and we'll have a bunch more cisterns and then this will be covered halls and again i don't think there's a big problem with 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 getting these guys in and out of here and just selling them at that point like if we make extra it'd just be extra money but the big thing we're waiting on is these trains so we'll there we go this box car is just about done We'll get this guy done, and then we'll we'll switch over to making, I think, regular trains would probably be the best. I'm not real sure. And like I said, we'll let this guy make a couple extra. We can, I think we can always move these guys from a depot. I haven't really tried that yet. But once this depot gets built, we'll put a few more in here, and then we'll be able to ramp up some of that kind of action. There we go. We're just about there. All right, so now, yeah, make me a regular train. Now, that train takes a long time, 7,000 work hours. And really, how are we doing here? Yeah, we really have it cut down to where this one's getting the vast majority. I think I might even cut it down more. All right, yeah, you, you take 82%. I, I don't really need to make many more of these. 
All right, there we go. So we're producing vehicles over here, as you can see. And one of the reasons I switched over to covered hauls is two things. One, oh, you know, and, and open hauls. Well, we could come over here. Maybe we do this first, right? Because we have coal here and we have people, but we don't have a truck taking anything over to here. So now I'm not too anxious about it because we don't have a train, but I think we could talk about getting this all situated where we get the train that is our bricks train to come over here. So let's start making bricks in Bricksville because yeah, <laughs> it's Bricksville, right? So in order to do that, I think we need some open halls just two really right one from each of these to take bricks oh look why is yeah they both have tons of bricks and so we'll go grab some of these right and we'll see see what we can't do and then the other th there's a couple things i'd like to do is get bricksville ramped up a bit and this is the part of it i'd like to design the rest of our Oh, that's right. I gotta send them to a depot first, don't I? Yeah, do we have room? Yeah. Alright, so let's send them over to here. And then let's shrink them up. And maybe we'll do our little designing thing I was just thinking of. So I'd like to finish building this road and railroad track over to Saz's Hallis. <laughs> Saz Hallis? All right, so let's uh, come to roads first, I guess, and then wireframe. Yeah, so the problem I had was getting up and over this hill was, was turning things red. So we, I think I just want to cancel that project. All right. Yeah, I think that's, yeah, make it a little bit less steep. All right, and then I'll go from like here. here now if you want it to be nice and level side to side which is actually kind of important what I would recommend is that you come up to a like a place you can make this relatively small but then just do it like side to side like this right and that will give you like a flattish spot to go from say like here to here see how that raised that up I'm not sure if you could tell on the video but right see that's sort of a sort of makes it nice and level side to side. But that's not what I wanted to do. I'm amazed they built that road. All right, so now let's... All right, are we pointing right at it, more or less? Yeah. All right, so let's... Let's see what we got. I can't really see too well. I'm just going to see if we can't... bring down that hill a little bit, just because we can a lot more than I was sort of thinking. Couldn't really see. Something like that. Just to make it look a little better. about the railroad later so I can come from there to here yeah, that's, that's more leveling than I was anticipating and again we got our little flat spots so we can sort of come from here to here I just don't like to make it look like they're on the side of a cliff when they're when they're doing these things Go ahead and right towards it. Yeah, let's just get rid of a bit of that hill. I don't really expect too much to be done. This should be pretty flat. Let's. <laughs> it's not. 
look pretty flat. Yeah, the only problem with doing that is yeah, it's all right. Well, and then this one, since the railroad's coming here, let's. Let's just smooth it up even more. The railroad can get in there on a nice sort of level stretch. To red. All right, so there we go. So we'll have that going the whole way, and then. Yeah, I guess, where, where is our railroad? Yeah, I guess we'll do the same thing. Let's just make it parallel. Right, but I don't want it to be too, too close. I don't think it matters. In this, I don't see us coming off of here. Right, but now that we have that, I can just sort of do the same sort of thing I did here. Unless it fights me like that. Yeah, we need to get it to turn. You can't just get it to turn red. You need to get it to turn leveling red, if, if that makes sense. Yeah, so now I'll do the same thing here, right? Get this leveled up a little bit, a little bit further, maybe. like right in this ballpark at least that seems fair enough to me all right so now the problem's going to be seeing yeah that's going to be you can get it to go a little bit you can usually See, like once I bring it down, I can bring it closer. Right. And now I gotta get it. See what I mean? Now, now we can almost do the. Almost do the thing I wanted. This is why I don't do too much leveling. I probably could have done this off camera, but we'll get this looking nice. Nice and level. And I don't know, does it really make any difference? Some people don't like the extra leveling. If there was a powering to the leveling, I would definitely do it. Sorry for the brief break there, the phone rang. You might not have even noticed it. Hopefully I did a good enough job of editing. It wasn't an official break. But I went back and tried to re-say what I had just said. So this is probably more, way more than we need. But I think it'll make it look nicer. In any way. All right, so let's... Yeah, I don't like quite the way that looks down the other end. We can fix it up a bit. All right, I think I'll come from like here. All right, so let's put some railroad tracks up there. And then I guess we should talk when we get, yeah, we should get past here, right? Let's bring that hill down a little bit. Is 
Should we do some kind of fancy footwork down there as far as letting these guys stage a little bit? Probably not. I've done that before. It's <laughs> like, in other words, they, they can only get in and out of here. This is not a big. Whoa, whoa, geez. Yeah, let's make it parallel the road a bit more. Yeah, it's definitely laggy when I go to put this down. See that? It's like it just jumps from. There you go. Yeah, now this won't quite parallel it because it's a little bit different. Yeah, I think it's just a little bit too much calculating. All right, we're just going to try to see. Can we go right in there? And we'll leave room for a switch. Which is probably a sign your map is getting too, a little too busy. So I'm going to put a signal here and a signal here just so that they can work on it without fighting with each other. And then the question would be, do we want to like make this fancier, but we can just stage the trains. This is such a long straight track that, you know, we'll put a number of signals, little extra signals in a sense in here to let them get in and be, you know, if there's a bunch of them that want to come over here at once, so we should be okay. All right. Probably. Yeah. We don't even need this signal. Well, why didn't you. Uh, it didn't give me a, you know, let's see, can we get rid of the, uh, it doesn't want to get rid of the extra nodes. I think we can come here and do that, right? Yeah, see, so we can get rid of some of the extra nodes. I wonder why it wouldn't let me do that one. I guess it has something to do with being at the end. Well, anyway, no extra nodes there. We'll, we'll get rid of that other. Oh, you know why? Because it's the end of the electrical track. That's why. Okay. All right, so now let's commit to these things. And you would say, why don't you, you might say, why don't you make this, like, why don't we bring people over here? Because I found that really you're actually better off with your construction office closer to your supplies. So if we're going to build, we're actually better off with them over here for the most part because they'll be quicker to go pick up supplies and then bring them over here. Like if we were to move them all over here, then every time they go to get kind of reset, then they, they come back to here and then they have to drive all the way over. In this particular case, it might not be too bad. Let's turn off the wireframe and then we're going to just set this guy to helping out because he's also got a roller and whatnot. And, and why not? All right, so there we go. So this feels good to get that done. And then I guess... I th uh, are these guys... I think they're going to be able to go in and out and work on this. No workers. Why don't... Yeah, oh, because I turned them all off. Yeah, you know, I think I may end up just... I, I, I think I know these guys won't have a problem. We only need two rail cars, and it, we're not really in a super hurry for this. All right, so these two should be able to get that done. There, so we should get another connection, which will play in when we go to make these things more efficient. Because, like with the bricks, for example, right now we have to end their route. In order to be efficient with our train that's coming up to here to get bricks, say, we would have to end their route at MB distribution, which may not be the best way to do this, right? Like we would come in here maybe to NR distribution and then go to the rest of them. And, you know, we want to end up closer to this. This is probably the best example. Oh, you know what, though? We would need... Yeah, I need another track. Right? I need a track that can come up for this guy to come in and out of there. 
Yeah, it's going to be an awkward track to build, I think, too. We might just auto-build it. Right? Because if we want to send him, this would be the only one that would have this problem. If we want to send him over to this way, we would need... Yeah, do we just, I think we're just going to build this. Yeah, let's see if we can get across the road here. Yeah. I think we can make it up the hill if we can get across the road and all right, will you turn? No. Let's do this one a bit. Yeah, see this would this is a sign. When it's doing that to you, it's a sign you need to put your wireframe back on and look for the levelness. And then I would say, do a bit of this number to it. You know, where you're raising or lowering it a little bit manually. Because this thing will make it, see how we're just sort of orange just there? Then we'll come here and a little bit more. See, I bet you we, that almost might get it to go green. See that? Yeah, let's come up here. All right, and then can, will you let me do that? Yeah, we had you green for a half a second, didn't we? Yeah, the problem is when we get real close in here, it's, it's not really going to let us level it in the same way. But, but even if it doesn't, it, it still sort of like levels it out side to side. Oh, come on. Oh, you know what? You did this. Now, will you do? Yeah, you will. <laughs> That's a bit awkward, but. Hope that I do the wrong track. So I think I'm just going to buy this. We're getting to the end anyway. We got so much money. We're just going to have foreign workers come in. And is that electrified? It's not really showing electrified, but I think I did it right. All right let's do this. Yeah, it's really not, it really didn't show it was electrified, did it? No. Crossing not allowed, right? Hmm. Yeah, I think it's electrified. I don't, I don't really know what to tell you. It doesn't, doesn't look it, but. Pretty sure I made it electrified, but anyway, there we go. So now we can get our bricks trained to go over here and then come right back in or, or vice versa. But that does probably mean we'll need to do some signaling at least to make it so they're not conf... Well, no, they should be... Yeah, no, we need to at least do it so they're not conflicting with each other down here. All right, this would eventually be like that. All right, because this, this will cause a... This will cause them a little bit of an extra delay. I'm not sure if it matters. Uh, we need to leave this two way. Uh, I don't think we need to make it chain, but we will. Yeah, see that, that actually I think would have freed this guy up to get off of that track and get into here and get to work. All right, good. So there we go. So we took care of that problem, that problem, that problem. Now we had some trucks we sent down here, correct? Open flatbeds. And we're going to come over here. We're going to get rid of our wireframe. Definitely, by the way, the wireframe doesn't bother me as much until I go to look at the videos. So I'm not sure what you guys think of it, but it certainly... Certainly, I think it's ugly when I'm watching the video later on. 
There you go. So you're ready to go. And then you'll come over to here. Might as well just have them wait in both places. We could put another train on, or another uh, another truck on here, but I really don't think we're going to need it. But we'll see. We, we might be ramping up trains and everything else in the end, and we'll do more of that. So what I want to do is come over to here now and talk about this train here. And I remember he's the VL-10. That's, that's how I knew to go right to him. So I think we want to give this guy a completely different course. Now, of, co of course, we just said everything we did about Molna or, or the new customs house, and we built our fancy thing. But in the meantime, I think I'd still like to get him going over to here and and getting some some bricks out of here so yeah i don't think we can't put one up above here can we that would be nice but let's just see how this goes I, i'm probably better off just deleting everything all right so we're gonna tell you to load and wait for bricks and then we're going to get rid of GW from here. And then when you come out of here, all right, I want you to go to, yeah, we're just going to give them a whole new route. I want you to go to here. All right, you should be able to do that. Yeah, I want you to go to here, if nothing else, because we don't have that other one. See, he's going to have to, like, make a big loop around. Because he can't go in this way. Let me see. Better not be able to go in that way. All right, so we want you to unload some bricks here. And you know what? We're going to... Why don't we send him just up to Bricksville. So there's NR distribution, and we're just going to delete... The, now that we got two of them in here, we can, we can delete the rest. All right, so we're going to want him to go from there. I think the next best stop will be all the way over here to oops, to Autograd and unload bricks. Now, getting a Tupafalu is a bit of a pain, but I'm thinking now. You know what? We'll get now. So we can't get. Etupa flu being in the middle here, this is where I'd really want him to be able to not drop off. So I think we're not going to not drop off at MB distribution or I mean Molna. Like we're not, we're going to just for now not export bricks until we get that other line done, and, I, and I'll show you why. So we're going to go from Autograd, which will be you know over here, and then we're going to come all the way down this track and go to. Old Revergrad and unload bricks. Then we're going to go to GW distribution. All right, and then we're going to come up to MB distribution. Now, see, if we wanted to go to Molna, it makes a lot of sense, but then. I don't really want to do that, right? Because we haven't dropped off anything here. And now we're facing, and I mean, we could turn around, go back to Molna, and, but boy, wouldn't it be nice just to come on the rest of the way and head back to here and drop off whatever bricks you don't have because we're really close in this case and then come back here. So hopefully we'll remember to come back here and set him to going out this way but this this will be this guy's new new route hopefully he makes it let's see yeah he's still moving so that's a really good sign and he could come into conflict with our construction cranes but we are just have to deal with that if he does oh no you know what we could do well we'd have to put in another crisscross right uh yeah you know what we're gonna do that Let's, uh, 
Yeah, in order to not have this guy have problems. It doesn't have to be a powered one. It just... Alright, we're going to... Oop, oop. Go ahead. Yeah, we're going to have this guy... So let's get these guys to work on that first. And then once they get that done, we can unsignal everything else. And then they won't come into conflict anymore. fine we'll just they're going to be a little delay right here but I, but I think we'll be okay okay good so we'll keep we'll keep an eye on that good look we have a few bricks for him to pick up like i said i think these guys should be pretty quick in getting over there and like i said if we need another one we got you know i don't think we'll cause too many conflicts and i guess we could always put a road cargo station here if we really wanted to but one step at a time all right, so there you go. So we are making bricks. Now, the next thing, since it seems to be the subject of the moment, is... Where the heck are we? Petrochemps. I'm on the right path. It's this polluter right here. I think I would like to cut off all the people that are working here. And then destroy this now that we do have this coal which is a bit of a polluter too but i'm wondering if we don't just get rid of all of this stuff so i think yeah do we have any vehicles yeah i think we just export these bricks right that's another one how many do we have All right, so these guys, I'm going to switch all of them to coming over. Might as well go to imports, go get a couple more, a couple more dollars. Now, what are you guys doing? Oh, you're emptying that tank still. We In the last episode, we started emptying a tank. We're going to do something real similar with these guys here. So I'm going to say, go to imports, go unload anything sorry if you guys can't see that do nothing here do nothing here All right and then send them oh this guy's empty okay yeah that's that's all we wanted oh no 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 we want them to empty these we want to empty the bricks thing out why not make a few bucks and even though i'm not sure if it's even worth driving it that far but yeah, so really, yeah, then we want to just come to each one of these and just copy that route, right? Yeah, we want to, sorry. <laughs> All right, we want to look at this one. Let's get this out of my view, right? And then we want to copy that. close this one. We want to do the same thing here. Look at this one. Copy that. Yeah, that worked out. Yeah, let's look at this one. Copy that. Yeah, good. That, that's not, I don't care if they're going to the right place. Uh, you know what, now what we, sh uh, what we should do We really don't want you even going there, do we? Yeah. Um, but really, there shouldn't be too many coming into here. We should be able to tell. Probably not a bad idea to look, right? Yeah, don't, don't go to there. There's no point. Open cistern, cistern. Yeah, see, this should be... Relatively easy to figure out who's going where. What are you doing? 
You're just sitting someplace. You're probably in a... Yeah, you're, you're just... Yeah, you're just sitting in there. You just happen to have that route. Right, so just to not confuse things, I could... Could just do that. Oh, and then we closed our... Closed our bricks train. I just wanted to make sure he was working. There he is. Oh, yeah, you know what? He's... That's... And even though that guy's so short... I don't think he's he's going to get an error. Hmm. Let's see. Can we... Yeah, we're going to have to fix this. got done building all that they look that they now they look like electrical tracks so this guy no that's that's not you know what we could probably do that couldn't we As long as we signaled it, you can see, I don't think we're going to get away with that, are we? And we just might. <laughs> yeah, that, that's cutting it too close. Well, I think the thing to do there would be just like this. Right. So this guy could come in here, turn around, and go back out this way. Let's just purchase this stuff. All right, now let's do some fancy signaling. So this would be... I don't anticipate that many trains. This would be fine. Now, this should be... kind of means yeah that should, shouldn't be a that should be a, one of those see I see look we saved that just in the nick of time and then this should be a regular signal in I think because right, there is no next signal so you don't want that in that case there we go now that, that guy's off of there we can Get rid of those nodes. All right, so now we can at least get the long enough train in there. Uh, well, that's about a royal mess. Uh, now you can't get back. Why can't you get back? Because um, this guy got into here. Let's... All right, just... You should be able to get out of there. Yeah, why can't you get out of there now? I'm a little bit confused as to why he's stuck on this on this bit of track. Right, like he should be able to. Oh, that would be it right there. Yeah, that, that was <laughs> doesn't take much. 
Yep, there he goes. Get out of the way, buddy. Well, that's good. At least we found it while we were looking and didn't spend, I don't know, 45 minutes sitting there wondering why that wasn't working. And then we can signal this up in a second here. All right, so you'll get chain, chain, regular, regular. Close that. Come over here. We're going to have to reassign what we were working on, but then we should be good to go. And we should be able to signal those so that we don't run into our... our brick string. Right? So let's signal... The brick chain should already be coming in and out the right way, but we want to get the other guy... Like, now that those... They're both out of there, right? Yeah, I think that's the second one. Oh, no, it isn't. All right, so we, we got... We don't want two-way here. We want... I don't want roads either. We want it like this. Right. Hmm. Oh, because that's where the electric track ends. Keep saying that. All right, so... No. All right. Now, yeah, this worries me. get a signal in here even if I yeah that, that's gonna be too short for for a train otherwise you need to be able to fit that. Yeah. All right, so this Try to just get them as close as I can, just so that they're not, I don't know, just as efficient as possible. I don't think it's worth killing yourself over, but. can't place a semaphore on it. Let's just try something here. Alright, and then we're gonna just see I don't think this one yeah see I don't think this was really attached right or something. Let's see. Let's purchase this just so it's. And then, yeah, I want to do this so that this guy can come in there nice and clean, I hope. So was that like the end of electrified track or did I do something um, the bottom line is now we can do what I'll call proper signaling yeah you yeah I don't yeah this one I don't think I can place a signal let's just sort of 
I had to get rid of that before construction happened. And I think we just need to create, create treat this. as one big sig, one big uh, intersection. All right, so we should have uh, in, no, out, in, in, out, in, out. Do we have this right? This should be out. In. All right, I think I got that right. Yeah, and I don't think we need any signaling here. All right, there we go. Hopefully we didn't cause more problems than we did good. And then we could probably... Yeah, see, this doesn't need to be this way anymore. This is where they're coming down and switching, so I think we can get rid of this. This was there for the construction before, and then get rid of all of these nodes and everything else we can. All right, and then this just needs to be treated like a regular intersection. Yeah, that's a one way out. Man, we could possibly talk about making that better, but All right, and then that should be good to go the rest of the way. So there we go. And then I guess the next thing would just be for the sake of for the sake of moving things along. Now, by the way, you can put these signals on the bridges, as long as it's in the break, which is kind of cool. I mean, we don't need one too close here, so we'll just get some signaling in, just so they can sort of keep flowing. If we find we need more, we didn't put one here. All right, we got everything else. Yeah, see, like, if we put one in the middle, I think we'll have enough room for the longest train. And how about here? Yeah, maybe. All right. And then, yeah, another one. They're free. And then that's all we can do for now. Cool. Now are we even? Yeah, we're working on this road. Good. Looks like we even have it paved already. All right, let me take a quick break for personal reasons and for for the sake of figuring out what I'm going to do next. It, just because I've gotten so focused in on this, I kind of forget the other things that we were doing. So give me one minute and I'll be right back. All right, I came over to our vehicle production and I... Just took a look. We still haven't produced a tray, and they take quite a while, as I said. And then here, I, I stopped the production of these. Now we had, uh, we they they don't sit here forever. They sit here for a while, and then they took extra trolleys over to Moscow, which is something else we could do probably in another episode. But then I switched them. We got this depot done, so I switched them, this depot done, so they should bring the vehicles into this depot, so we'll have a couple extra to ramp this up if we think we need it, and then I cut that production off now. We don't have any fire trucks here, so do we have... We got two fire trucks, that's kind of perfect. That's sort of something that we want to have plenty of. All right, so you two can come in here, and then we should get workers as soon as they get in there and then probably I also cut this one off from making anything else now I don't know if there's enough room to to make more things but let's go ahead and make some more fire trucks because I think we could just ramp them up as a general statement now we also made quite a few cisterns 
And I don't think we actually need any of these at this exact second. So I've been doing... Let's see. I think one more. It's definitely a benefit to having <laughs> these things close. Right? This is what I do when I'm off camera. There we go. So we'll... Oops, let's close this one and this one. I have to be better with the escape button. It will escape on the one you just put in there. You just got to be careful. All right, so we'll get one of these full of trucks. So now we'll have to decide what to do with the extra ones, but that's okay. That and, and leaving some of the trucks in here is going to prevent us from making way too many fire trucks. <laughs> so did that, I didn't shut this guy off. And like I said, if we make too many, we could always sell them. So one of the things that I think I would like to do is just because it's something that we 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 definitely can do. Now I see this train. Is this guy? Okay, see, and I don't like the way these guys sit here. But, let's see, how are we doing down here? Yeah, see, we, we've got a lot of trains waiting here at this point. And I'd like to, that's Chemsaw, I don't want to mess with him. Yeah, you're going to Breadscock and then Chemsaw. And so are you. I wonder if we, what are you doing? You're going to, yeah, you're kind of all doing the same thing. So why don't we take one of these two guys, right? Well, it's this one less full. No, not really. <laughs> all right, so let's, uh, I want to send him into here. Oh, you know what? Did we do signaling? Yeah, and this train's just, whatever train gets in here is just going to go around in the loop. He's not going to really be able to go other places too effectively. So let's let's just start adding on to the end so we can delete. So your first stop is going to be here. I want you to load and wait. All right. And then at this point, I would like to give you... this waypoint and this waypoint hopefully that's in the right order and then I want you to come to here and unload your corn and wait I don't know that we even have people here but now let's see if we can't delete all this stuff. I was hoping he's left the station. All right, did that just mess you up greatly? Let's see what you're doing. Now I caught you before you left there. Good. So you should be able to come up there to number three. And then the question would be is one of yeah, let's why am I Seem to be really moving slow. All right, there we go. So, yeah, we don't have any workers here and here. And I really think I would like to try, if we we're going to make an improvement, I really, <laughs> it would really be nice to maybe get this to be tramified, though I, I think I, it's maybe a bridge too far. So it's, it would be a massive project. Let's see, what do you... Yeah, so let's assign you also to send 50% there. Now, how many vehicles? Yeah, we only have one bus going to there. Now, I know I sent a few buses here. You know what? That's what we can make over in one of the factories. So let's take... Let's take... Oh, come on. There we go. Now, these are the two... Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Let's put 
more people. How do we look here for... Probably not a ton of people, at least not as many as I would like. Alright, so let's put the two red buses... Alright, one... What are you doing? What do I do? Let's get rid of... What is going on here that I can't delete? Something was going on there. I was clicking, I swear. <laughs> All right, so you're going to come to here. And then you are going to come to here just to make it backwards and harder to figure out. All right. Yeah, this is Railcar Bus Platform 2. And I just want you to get load people I don't think you really need to do that but and then you guys are both gonna come to here and unload All right, we'll start that guy give him a little head start doesn't really matter they all end up jammed up anyway and then what I'm thinking of is we'll, we'll do the same kind of thing with these two yeah, let's delete yeah, these were for the construction office down there that I shut down but we'll make some more buses yeah, and this guy doesn't have one so we'll do the same idea here where we one to each just for the sake of maybe spreading them out and then you're going to come to this one. So we'll have three coming to here. Yeah, now you want... All right, we'll start that one. Is it a good time to start this one, maybe? Why not? All right, that was the other, other one. And then this guy... Oh, that's the food factory. Yeah, let's this guy. I feel like I might have just messed that up, but we'll give this guy an extra minute. Just because why not? Alright, so that should increase the number of people that are going to there and there. Now how many do we have? Yeah, see, good. We have three on this one. And we have two on this one. So good. So that should be pretty well balanced as far as getting people going there. And then there you go. Look, this guy's pulling in. Good. We're getting some corn. All right. Probably should leave him open just to make sure he goes his whole route. Now, probably need to talk about signaling him. So what I want him to do... Yeah, you know what, I'm going to even pause it, just so that he can't get in and out. So what I did was, so this is our rail construction. I think we should bust this up, because we're done. So let's at least cut it back. All right, like we'll get rid of this. And that. And that, so that does not cause him problems, and then... You know what, I think I'll just break this one down this end for now. Right, and so now this should be a one way out. I'm going to get rid of some nodes while I'm doing this. Right, and then other than maybe just some more signaling kind of away from the road so we don't cause problems. Right, and then what I'd like to do is sort of Make it so we could stage a couple trains here if we had to. And yeah, maybe I'll get rid of this one again. 
All right, and then they can go into either one of these stops. So that would be a chain here. Now, you know what? We do regular. Yeah, I don't think we need. All right. Oh, no, no, this wouldn't. Yeah, we, we're going to want like this. And then, yeah, I think we would want a chain here. Uh, but that's going to be too short. Yeah, that's definitely going to be too short. Let's just see if we... Yeah, that, that might definitely cause a problem. Hmm... You know what, I'm going to get rid of these signals and just see what it does. And then we're just going to do a, a regular signal here. Just see what see what happens. And we'll do this just for the sake of them being able to move along. And then this should be a chain. And then this should be a chain, right? And this would be regular one way. Yeah, I think that that might work. <laughs> All right, let's let's play it again. I didn't want that guy to come around after he got done while I was doing all of that. And then let's start. Yeah, might as well just start this bus. Hopefully, he finds a nice happy place in the world. All right, so that guy's done. Yeah, let's just check out. So we'll be greatly increasing our core now we might I, what I would like to maybe do at that point is talk about this guy if, if this we'll, we'll keep an eye on it if I think that these two stops will be more than this track can handle we'll talk about another train because we'll, we'll have that build eventually can come in here and maybe drop off to another one of these but we'll kind of try to get a feel for how much these two are producing so that we can, you know, make, like make sure that, that we're getting full. And then we can cut the other trains off from from getting up over here. And, and then we'll have to come in, once we start actually producing some food, we'll have to get maybe another outgoing train to come into here because we don't, we, I don't think we have enough of outgoing trains. So we're going to... We're going to need a lot more trains as time goes on. But good, look, this guy's getting in there. Now, what I'm afraid of is... Yeah, see, that's just going to stay a red signal. Well, maybe we limit the size of these trains to... Let's see why he's in there. Can I do... Now, we want you... All right, and then we would make this a chain. Now, you shouldn't be red. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm just going to, even though we have two tracks there, I think it's just kind of become a waste. Then the other thing I think we really need to talk about is just, this is just too close. Yeah, you know what? Let's fix that, and then we're going to call it quits for the episode real quick. All right, we're just going to get rid of this, get rid of this. I don't think this matters too much. All right, and then we're going to... Get rid of that and that, and then we're going to do this. rid of this yeah I don't like that that's blocking but there shouldn't be too many trains that need to come in this way all right so now they should be able to come in and out of there and then all we need to do is like this all right and then the trains will stage here that might be a little short now Need that many anyway. Yeah, we'll leave it plenty long. 
All right, so two trains could stage in here while they're waiting for this guy to load or unload. And are we not working on this? Why is that not getting built? Missing bus. Hmm. Uh, oh, you know what? It's because these guys, neither one of these guys had a bus. <laughs> yeah, so we'll just leave the, the regular. This is just like a supply office. You can even rename it that way. It doesn't have any buses, so it needed some workers that we never sent over there. I think that should be okay now. All right, did I delete the right one? Yeah. All right, well, there we go. We've kind of run out of time once again, but I think we're going to be producing, you know, a good amount more food, and we need to get that connected. But that should happen relatively soon. And if you look, we got all of our fields sown, it seems, and and we're producing. And yep, look, this guy's already on his way back. That's that's excellent. Uh, unless I have him on the wrong uh, load corn and wait. Oh, do I have him on load load? No. Are you waiting? Yeah. Good. Oh, look, we're producing food. So in the beginning of the next episode, we'll have to get a food train into here, but that should should at least help with our food things. And then these other trains, even though they're dropping off here, if we can get to more than this, we should be producing more food, A, and then if we can get another train on here because we're producing enough, it should help fill these guys up, which should help send more stuff over to the clothing and other places. So let's see how this impacts the grand scheme of things. But once again, guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. We have gotten some things done, like our bricks, and, and we're exporting the rest of those bricks we can shut we shut down that other brick factory we're paving this road so i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you have a wonderful day take care of yourselves bye bye